What's up guys, this is Dark Magician here and welcome to another KO app video. Well sorry guys for not being so active lately, um, well actually uh, you know Okyo appeared, um, that was something unexpected for him to appear as an API 14, uh, but when I, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna wait for his 6th gate to arrive so that I can make a full video for him uh, later on. Okay, and other than that, you know, Geniko appeared, the fighter that we uh, all have been waiting for. Uh, so yeah, today's video, video will be a character introduction for Geniko. Okay guys, so as you know, Geniko is an API 15 DPS. Of course, when you look through the details, you can see the high crit and the crit power as usual, as a usual DPS. Now the feature says power of wind because she uh, she basically can um, uh, blow wind in, in order to do heavy damage and everything. So yeah, she can control wind in some way. But anyway, now her fates. Let's start with the fates. First one, gender confusion. Of course, we need Geniko, Shion, and Ash. Increasing attack uh, 25%. Orochi's power. We need Geniko, Orochi, and Omega Rugal. Increasing attack by 25%. And the Hakesu. We need Geniko, Orochi, Chris, and uh, Orochi Yashiro. Uh, increasing attack again by 25% so you can see two fates are very hard to unlock honestly they will take a lot of time because they require not only api 14s they require api 15s actually so this will be troublesome but the last one will be easy to unlock okay guys so uh, her weapon antique tv and she uses orochi badge and superpower top now moving to her fight soul now she's a snake soul but actually she has two parts um, as other bosses basically uh, first part, attacking will get 40 rage, which is a characteristic of a snake soul, and the second part also increase initial rage, which is a characteristic of wild bird soul. Okay, so that's a very ni nice combination. Now, let's start with the skills. Her passive first, breathless. Geniko has probability to ignore target block and resistance rate in every attack. Okay, so no matter how much the opponent has um, any buffs related to increasing resistance or block, there is a specific percentage where she can actually ignore all those buffs made okay now also if geniko is controlled will immediately dispel and increase rage recovery by 20 percent for two rounds so she simply can't be controlled instead uh, she will clear uh, her debuff and she will increase rage recovery by 20 percent for two rounds which is very nice and also after geniko is attacked if hp is less than 40 percent she will turn into the wind uh, into wind and uh, disappear from the battlefield. I'm sure you've seen her doing that. So when her HP uh, gets to 40% or below, she will disappear from the battle and then return again on the next round and will recover some HP, which is equal to 30% of the damage done in the previous round and some uh, additional rage, which are 200. Okay, and clear own debuff, of course. This um, effect can be triggered max two times. Okay, and of course Geniko will make a skill in the first round, so the skill is guaranteed in round 1. So as you can see at level 1 the chance is 35% chance to ignore uh, block and resistance rate. This uh, increases very uh, to high numbers actually, more than 70, 80 if I'm not wrong. Uh, so yes, yeah, she will most likely ignore the block and resistance of the opponents. Uh, actually this passive is, is what Geniko is all about, uh, because, because of that passive she can do heavy damage. Okay, so now her other passive, King Attack and HP Enhancement, permanently increase damage and HP. Uh, at level 1, of course, it's a, it starts at 5%. Her minor skill, Electric Crest, attacks the unit, inflicting 10% max HP and damage. Reduce all enemies 20% crit power and block power. I think this one is block power as well for 2 rounds. Okay, I'm not sure if this is block or block power. Um, okay. Uh, each time Geniko releases the skill, permanently increase 10% attack power and 15% skill probability. So that's why you see her uh, making her minor skill very often. Okay, it can stack up to 3 times. So after 3 times when she does it, she will gain 30% attack power and 45% uh, skill probability. Okay. Now her ultimate whale. Attack a column dealing 20% additional damage increase its own 15% resistance rate and attack for 2 rounds. This round, attack ignoring target 35% defense, in addition to her passive of course, clearing same row allies debuff, okay, so uh, the allies which are located in the same row, she can clear their debuff. And target column buffs, see she can also uh, clear uh, the buffs of the column that, that she hits. 
and effects of course are increased after awakening and can clear petrification so basically after she uh after her, her weapon is awakened she will deal additional um 30 percent damage if i'm not wrong and she will increase 20 or 25 percent resistance i'm not quite sure about her weapon honestly but i think the values increase slightly either 20 or 25 percent okay and she can clear petrification so basically this the cc's that she can clear are the um the the minor ones like the silence the uh um the stuns the freezing and stuff like that but after she uh you awaken her weapon she can clear petrification which is very appropriate okay guys so uh that was it for her skills now let's go to the ultimate guide 98 app to talk about her gate and then get back here for further information okay guys so we're here at the uh ultimate guide 98 app to talk about Geniko's uh, elements now before we start just gotta mention that uh, this app is a new app uh, the same developers of the old UGK F98 app have developed this new application uh, of course with new stuff and improvements to the old app so I advise you guys to get it uh, I'll put the link in the description below uh, it got everything you need basically so it's a very good app to use okay so first let's start with the elements now first who are the uh, gate partners for Geniko so as you can see, we have Orochi, we have Genet, and we have Orochi Shermi. Now, the good thing, they are hard gate partners, uh, honestly, but the good thing is that Orochi is farmable, so if you haven't got him yet, or haven't got enough fragments for him yet, you, uh, and you're gonna use Geniko, so you should get Orochi. Uh, now, for Genet, the sad thing is that he's not farmable yet, although at this stage of the game he should be. Uh, so hopefully I'm guessing um, his frags should be available in the club battle store soon. Hopefully on the next update Okay, so th the, these are his uh, her gate partners Let's start with uh, the second element or uh, her lake element now um, as you can see not much of a change so um, the improvements are that if if her HP is less than 50% uh, instead of 40% she will disappear from the battle uh, additional thing which is she can recover 15% of her max HP as an additional HP value and of course when she triggers this effect twice she will increase her lifesteal or her HP drain for 20% which will last the entire match which is a very good addition because uh, HP drain is always good for DPS fighters. Okay now her, uh, her fourth element or the thunder element uh, in addition to what we've mentioned, she will also recover own 10% maximum HP and she will increase 15% attack power and 25% skill probability instead of 10% and 15% respectively and they can stack up to two times. So it's pretty much the same thing but instead of having to um, make this minor skill three times in the battle, we can get the full effects when we do it two times or uh, in, during two rounds, so which is much better. Now, her sixth element or smacks. Now, uh, the thing here is that, well, we know that she targets a column uh, in her previous ultimate. Now, for the new ultimate or for the smacks to occur, she should target a column which has only one enemy, not two. Okay, when one enemy is there, she will switch to single target ultimate or the new one. What she will do is that she will decrease target's attack and defense by 15% for two rounds, increase own damage and resistance for 20% for two rounds, and will increase all whole team controlled resistance by 20% again for two rounds. So, uh, in addition to that, current rounds attacks will ignore target's defense by 80%. So, the attacks that she will make will... Uh, will ignore the defense by the target by 80% so he will be so squishy basically. When Geniko's ultimate kills an enemy for the first time will gain an additional concealing gale charge. So what is the concealing gale charge? Uh, pretty much it's the ability to uh, disappear from the battle and appear again on the next round. So uh, what they mean is that when she kills uh, an enemy with that ultimate she will have the she will have the ability to disappear from the battle and appear again uh, for one extra time. Okay, um, pretty much that's everything. Uh, of course, we've mentioned that she will clear petrification after her weapon is awakened. So yeah, guys, that was everything regarding her elements. Now we're gonna go back to the game to talk about other stuff like her placement and her runes and other stuff. 
Okay guys, so we're back at the game to talk uh, about other stuff for Geneko to give more tips about her. So first question is that, is she a good fighter or not? Well, as you all know, she is a very, very good fighter. Uh, she can be used in many, many teams. Um, the major ones are of course female teams, uh, Snake Genesis and Wild Bird Genesis, pretty much because of the versatility of her. Uh, of her soul because she's a snake as we've mentioned and she can make an ultimate on round one uh, so those are the three teams that fit her the most uh, her placement now front or back now pretty much you would like to put her at the back because uh, she does a lot of damage she can be very dangerous if you can keep her alive uh, till the end of the match but again uh, if you didn't have enough tankers at the front she can be okay at the front because uh, we've seen her skills because she can disappear from the battle when she gets low HP So that's somehow safe if she uh, didn't receive a heavy hit uh, She can disappear and then appear again regain more HP and later more HP drain and stuff like that So she can be used at the front only in cases where you don't have enough tankers Okay, uh, but pretty, pretty much you would like to put her at the back uh, as a first choice now uh, for the runes what are the best runes for her? Now, of course, you have uh, two, two types of runes that you can use, basically. So, uh, first one would be Wolf's Anger, because you know that she makes an ultimate on round one, right? So, because she makes an ultimate on round one, then you would li like uh, an odd round rune uh, to be used on her. So, first choice would be Wolf's Anger, because uh, this is an odd round rune set, and because it's damage based, uh, she can do a lot of damage to the ones with uh, more than 65% HP which is appropriate for her and the second one would be Killing Soul because again Killing Soul is an odd round rune set again and this will give her additional crit and pierce so she will be making more crits more often if you use this uh, rune, uh, rune set on her other runes actually don't fit her well because um, there are defensive rune sets and others are even round rune sets so yeah pretty much you should use either wolf's anger or uh, killing soul for her okay guys so that was everything regarding Geniko uh, the draw will be insane for sure I can tell from now <laughs> but so good luck and I'll be seeing you in the next video peace out